get some money. Yeah. Hope you get some money. Better be getting some money. If you didn't know, it's Block Like Vlogs, aka the Trucking Block. Back with another video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The thumbs up notification bell does not cost you a thing. Comment down below, interact with me. I interact back. And if you don't like my videos, hit the dislike. YouTube analytics, right? So I'm at Site One Landscape Supply up here in Louisville, Kentucky. I know I look a mess today, hair all crazy and everything else, but hey, when you grinding, you get into the money, you don't care, right? Anyway, uh, tapping in with you guys with another video today. I'll be going over a, a short story <laughs> about how to handle yourself in altercations at truck stops and a couple other things. But for now, I'm getting live unloaded here at Site One Landscape Supply. And uh, I wanted to start my video here because back in 2017, I worked at Site One Landscape Supply in Olathe, Kansas for $14.50 an hour. Started off $12.50 an hour as a temp worker and worked my way up into a uh, skid loader operator to $14.50 an hour and then was underpaid for almost a whole year as younger guys that had been there less time than I have and had less experience got paid $16.50, $17.50, $18, even $20. Uh, one guy in particular, he finessed his way and snitched his way into a position into being paid a substantial amount. Um, I was treated less than at that place. Uh, my supervisor at the time, John Burwalt, uh, very nasty character, man. Um, terrible morals. You know, he, he treated me and other employees like crap. He said jokes that were very inappropriate that, you know, could cause a lawsuit and we weren't able to voice our opinions because when I went to his supervisors, nobody would do nothing about it. They just laugh it off and be like, oh, well, you know, it was a joke or this, that, and the third. But long story short, I left that company and my life changed forever. I went from making hourly pay that was next to nothing to making very good money with the railroad and then even more money as a trucker. So don't let your position be the determining factor of where you'll be in five years. Things change all the time, man. I mean, heck, they're going to change again for me here soon. And again, and again, until, you know, I reach that goal of entrepreneurship and, and working for myself, being my own boss, not working for somebody. But uh, I figured I'd share that with y'all real quick. And I got another short story later on and a couple other things I want to go over. But until then, man, I'm going to let this guy finish unloading me here at this site one in Louisville, Kentucky. down there and I'll holler at y'all in a second peace it's my new torch I bought from a pilot out here in Indiana what is very interesting about this torch is that I got it for $2.39 virtually free due to my pilot points and since the skew didn't work on the back the cashier decided to use a big lighter for the price he knew what he was doing because he even said i doubt that's two dollars i said i doubt it is too but i'm not about to argue with you he smirked and i walked off which is what it is it's part of the goofiness we got out here Supposed to be a truck right there. Bob's Hill parking way up here. Parking in the front of this loves too. It's parking in the front for cars. <laughs> but uh they gonna park this little jet up right here. It's crazy. Made no sense. I got lucky and found a spot way back here in the corner. to a RV. 
All right, y'all, it's a whole nother day. I delivered that load to Site One Landscape Supply in Louisville, Kentucky. Shot on over to Owensboro, Kentucky, to Ragu, picked up a load. Took that on to uh, Higginsville, Missouri. It was supposed to go all the way to the terminal, but I took it in Higginsville, Missouri on a relay. That driver is gonna take it up to Chicago. I guess some other driver is gonna take it to Chicago if I got to the terminal. But anyway, parked in Higginsville last night jumped up technically which will be yesterday morning because it's 3 a.m right now on a whole nother day um jumped up yesterday morning went to kck amazon picked up a load and brought that up to uh rockford illinois dropped that off around the corner i'm at a love around the corner from that place and now uh, i'm about to head back to owensboro for a live load man uh a live unload i got a live load out this way but anyway i told y'all i was gonna tell y'all a quick little story nothing big you know i'm gonna make this video pretty short but uh i'm gonna start adding in these little stories if i can about my trucking experience so i'm gonna take y'all back to when i first started i'm gonna say uh i think it was it was it was it was my first night we were at a pilot my trainer and i were at a pilot of course he drove there uh then once he got there he wanted to see my backing skills and again this is my friend haven he wanted to see my backing skills so uh he picked a spot that he reserved because he liked reserving spots haven he always reserved a spot i try to gamble with it sometimes like tonight i didn't pay for no spot but on this particular night haven got him a reserved spot hopped out i hopped into the driver's seat he got in the passenger side once i got lined up good enough he hopped back out stepped in front of the hole and was all right start guiding me back which he really didn't need to do i ended up doing it myself which he, you know he kind of backed off for you know a little bit and let me do what i had to do but as i'm backing in he's on my driver's side there's a couple walking up on my passenger side now i see them I'm expecting for the man that's walking in front of the, the lady to, you know, stop because the truck is in motion. I'm getting my nose back around in front of my trailer like I'm at an angle. I get my nose back around in front of my trailer. And as I'm doing that, he walks directly towards the truck. And then I stop. Like, I wasn't only going, but like one or, one or two miles per hour. I wouldn't even move that fast. He stops, throws his hands in the air you know and looking at me crazy and saying something so my trainer on the other side haven he hears what's going on and he meets him at the driver's side and he starts cursing up a storm calling me all kind of idiots and dumb a's and all this that and the third mind you i just started this is my first time backing with this trainer i've only been on this trainer truck for a couple days so far because the first day we mostly slept he drove most the second day and i'm finally backing for him and I run into this. Just started, got my CDL a month prior to that. I'm thinking in my head like, man, dude, just please leave me alone. I'm not trying to get fired for defending myself on my first night at a truck stop. So he keeps going and going. The trainer's telling him to walk away. Finally, I lean out the window. I say, look, man, walk away. He ain't listening. I tell him again, walk away still ain't he's still talking he talking out the side of his neck finally i said look you want to walk away now or i'm gonna get out dude say well hop out then tough guy i pull the brakes set my brakes throw it in uh neutral <laughs> take off my belt hop straight out and get right right in his face and it's like he had a whole change of heart he went from super angry, wanting to do something about it, tough guy talking crazy, what he's gonna do to me, so on and so forth, to looking stupid. He looked at Haven, looked at me, kind of gave me an up and down, and was like, F it, and walked off. And left his lady companion there with us, looking bewildered. He starts walking towards the store, she's sitting there like, okay, she starts following him in the store then after i back it all the way in we get you know settled we get our bags ready for a shower 
we go into the store and he's in the store we pass him up he act like he don't see us new drivers you're gonna run into drivers out here that think they own the road they think they own these truck stops and they can do what they want to do and talk to you however they want to talk to you but one thing i need you to remember even though you demand respect if you're a man you're going to demand respect like i do have a cool head i'm gonna tell you now it was not right of me to even get out the truck i should just let him talk his stuff i shouldn't have never told him to walk away i should let my trainer handle it and just sit there matter of fact i should just roll up the window Continue backing, because they were out of my way. Continue backing, parked it, and just sat there until they figured out what they were going to do. Because one thing that you do not have to do is prove how tough you are. Back at that moment, I mean, I was going through some things. I was stressed out already anyway. He was talking sideways. Uh, it just wasn't working. Hindsight 2020, I shouldn't have even engaged in conversation with him whatsoever because I already seen what he was on. Uh, and he had mentioned uh, halfway through all that yelling he was doing, he had mentioned that he hated U.S. Express. I'm like, what does that have to do with me and my trainer? You know, yeah, we work here, but we are not representatives of that company besides being a driver. We, we don't represent hr i don't know what they did with you but it i don't know but just keep a cool head new driver don't indulge in none of the bs you're gonna hear things on the cb that cb is gonna pop on you're gonna hear stupid and strange things come over it don't pay attention to it you gonna have drivers on the road they're gonna try to take you off the road they're gonna drive silly they're not gonna maintain their lane not gonna pay attention you want four wheelers cut you off so on and so forth keep a cool head so i told that story to remind you to just play it cool man it ain't worth it it definitely ain't worth it now since then i've gotten into it with other drivers okay i'm not perfect i'm not perfect but you're gonna you're gonna have situations you're just gonna have guys that's gonna test the waters no matter what or, or how you try to uh, avoid it. They're gonna test the waters. Especially when they see you avoiding it. They think already, okay, I can pick on him because they might be having a bad day. They might be going through something or they just might, you know, they might just be, you know, stupid like that, you know, but don't let them get under your skin. Just ignore it, man. Anyways, Block Life Vlogs, AKA the Truck and Block. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and notification bell does not cost you a thing comment down below interact with me i interact back if you don't like the videos hit the dislike youtube analytics right peace